that mulch somehow always ends up out in the yard, so I have to always pick that up a little bit. But hey guys, what's up today? I'm thinking it's time to mow. What do you think? I think so. We're just going for it today. We're going straight to real mowing about, uh, I think I'll set this thing around maybe just under three quarters of an inch, maybe closer to a half. We'll get some of this brown stuff on the top here cleaned up. And I think we're gonna be probably pretty surprised what it looks like underneath already here in the early spring, but it's already greening up quite nicely. So, so impressed with the way that that looks. Just look at that behind me right now. Just look at that. My stripe game needs a little bit of work. I'm a little bit out of practice, but it's awesome. Looks really nice up close as well. I'm down to a half an inch. I'll show you a little close up here. For the first mode of the season, absolutely impressed and love the way that it's looking. So I'm excited for it to kind of thrive a little bit more than it even is right now. It's gonna be awesome. Overall here, I'm very pleased again with how things look. We do have a few spots of snow mold that look like they killed off a, a few couple spots here and there, um, but I don't think it's gonna be too hard to fix that stuff. I can throw just a tiny amount of seed in there, especially with this being mainly ryegrass in the first place. That stuff will come up fairly quickly. I have a few other spots in the front yard that I'm gonna be working on very soon that I need to seed, and I'm thinking about possibly overseeding the whole front yard. If you're just following along now, I started this late last fall, kind of the renovation part of it. It didn't get very far into the season before it got very cold, so I kind of planned on maybe adding a little bit more seed this spring. We'll see, I need to, need to let it green up here just a little bit more and I can find out uh, what I'm gonna do there. The other thing is I'm probably thinking about putting some liquid fertilizer on this very soon here. This year I'm gonna be working a lot with the Simple Lawn Solution stuff. You'll be seeing it a lot here on the channel for apps that I'm gonna be doing on this low cut turf for sure. I'm gonna be kind of spoon feeding things a little bit more with liquid this year and seeing how that works out. So check this section out right here. You can see that uh, it's pretty much where all of our dog damage happened during the winter time. It happens pretty much every year. But look around there how green it is compared to if you look at like everything out into the distance there, which is pretty much because the dogs all go in this area during the winter time and that's actually nitrogen down onto the ground and it's growing pretty nicely there so I don't foresee a problem with this filling in um, I'm gonna try to rake that out a little bit yet and get some of that dead stuff out of there and then probably try to push it 
a bit with some uh, liquid fertilizer here soon as well. Let's go ahead and check some soil temps here in my yard and see kind of what things are sitting at. There's a couple of like really green patches right out in here, so I'm gonna test those spots for the fun of it and then right around those as well. So there is the two inch mark down into the ground and then I'm gonna measure at four inches as well. All right, and there we're sitting at the four inch mark, about 46 degrees. So we got a little ways to go here yet. I swear there's like no way I can make a video after 3.30 p.m. when all the kids get home, all the dogs barking, it's, yeah. Can't forget about the backyard today though. Does it really need to be mowed? No, probably not. It's greening up, but again, with that low cut, we're gonna get more of that green up happening a little bit sooner. The ryegrass seems like it's also just the cultivar of it. It has an early green up as well. The bluegrass is just starting to kind of get going here, but again, our soil temps, they're still hovering around that range where it's not completely going crazy yet. So I like this term now that Connor uses and it's just called a charity mow. I feel like mowing today, maybe I'll take a little bit off the top, maybe nothing will really happen, but let's do a little mowing. Mother. Oh, 